I'm gonna try to record doing this kettle pizza. I've used this thing a couple times. I've got it all ready here after a while. We're gonna make some pizzas. Basically the chicken bacon ranch pizzas without bacon. I ain't got no bacon, so. But uh, I'm gonna try this out and give a little quick view on it. They want you to let this gauge over here, the temperature gauge, get all the way up or hot. Six and seven hundred degrees. But I noticed when I did the last couple times, it was burning the bottoms of the pizzas. So I like to knock the temperature drop down a little bit. But uh, stone in there. All right, I got the fire lit now. You're gonna want that to burn down until it gets good and ash. Then you put, uh, I got some oak here. I'm gonna put on mine, a couple sticks. I got some more around the corner if I need it. So. Alrighty. Once that burns down, I'll be back. So. All right, it's ashed over good. I'm gonna put some wood on it now. Stop back on here. All right, now we just watch that gauge. Pizza number two. Having a hard time holding the camera and doing everything. That old gauge is pinged past 700 degrees.
Alright, I got the pan beats in there now. It barely fits with this 10 inch iron skillet. Look at that thing. Alright, I'm gonna bring that one in the house. All right, just stuck my last one in. And that pan you see right there in the in the grill there, that's what the kit comes with, that, that pan there. And it comes with the rest of it too also. Lost some temperature, it's been a little over a good hour since it's been burning. This is basically a chicken bacon ranch without the bacon. I make my dough homemade too, by the way. Nothing really fancy. I just follow some recipes online. Alrighty, I'll show you the end product here in the next video. I didn't get burnt.